Steve here, Shen RC, and this is the GP Toys Flame Peace S916 two-wheel drive buggy. This was sent in to me from GP Toys to showcase on my channel. The links to this buggy will be down below in my video description, so check them out. Now let's get into this box and see what you get inside. Here's the instructions. Just read through this. Shows you everything. Good manual here. So make sure you check this out. Here's the wall charger. It has a different kind of battery connector. So you're probably going to have to buy the batteries from the manufacturer if you want more batteries for more runtime. All this stuff here was in this bag. So let's see what's inside. You get a tire wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, some gears here. I don't know what they're for. And you get two extra body clips. And this is the steering wheel for the radio. And this looks like it just presses right in. Just like that. Let's take a look at this radio here. It's 2.4. On and off switch here. And on the back here is the steering trim, the knob you turn, the back opens up with a Phillips head screw. Let's see what batteries go in here. Two A batteries go in here. So that's good, you don't have to use a lot of batteries. Feels pretty good. Now let's take a look at the buggy here. The buggy comes with a plastic coating over all the panels. You have to peel it off, a protective coating. I already peeled it off. And here's what it looks like. Looks pretty neat looking. It's got the drivers inside there. It's a pretty cool looking buggy here. The suspension, it has non-oil filled shocks. Let's see the rigid test on this chassis. It feels pretty stiff so that's good. The front bumper is nice and flexible so it'll protect an impact. The rear also. Flexible bumpers. All right, now let's take these body clips off and see what's under the hood. This body just lifts up like this. You can see the chassis right there. Everything's flexible on it. So that's good. How about the A arms? Yep. You see the rear? The plastic feels pretty flexible, so that should be good if you get into a crash. Here's the bottom. Nice and smooth, nothing to get hung up. Let's check the diff on it. Feels pretty smooth. Tires. Tires seem to have no foams in there. And they feel a little hard to me. We'll have to see how these work out. Let's look at how you take the battery out. There's these four little clasps you undo like this. And just click them to the side. And then this top pops off and the battery rests right inside like this. Let's see what we got here. This is a lithium ion 800 milliamp battery. It's 9.6 volts. It's a cool compartment because the battery goes and sits low in the chassis. So that's good for the center of gravity. And you won't have to worry about your battery coming out neither with this way this clips together like this. You just clip it back. 
your battery ain't coming out of this one. It's a sleek looking chassis. It's real thin and narrow. I'm going to show you guys how this works really quick. Connect it. I'm just going to leave the top open here. And here's the on and off switch right here next to the antenna. I got the radio on here. So let's see how this works real quick. Here's the steering. It's proportional, so that's good. Let's check out the speed. Proportional. Let's see the brake. Has brake. In reverse is proportional. Alright. I'm going to get this out and test it soon. Please like and subscribe guys. I appreciate the support.